Hey, why so for L here? Someone made a request for a tutorial to record any sound that plays through your speakers. Not only will I be going through that, I'll be showing you how to download and install Audacity. Also, I'll be running through the setting up of Audacity with various VST plugins. Also, this tutorial assumes that you're using Windows 7, and please use this tutorial in moderation and is not intended to rip people's work. With all that said, let's get started. Let's open up our default internet browser. Let's search Google for Audacity. So you can tell I already have it open, and that's not good. So let's go to the audacity.soundforge.net website. Click on download. Next, we want to download it for Windows. So click on that. And click on the Audacity 2.0 installer. Also click on the lame MP3 encoder link. And let's click on the download page. And we want to locate this, uh, first, this first link right here. This is actually a zip file that has the encoder that we want. So let's click on that. So you can see now it's downloading. We're going to click on Audacity so that it opens as soon as, we're, uh, as soon as it finishes downloading. We're going to go back two pages, and we're also going to download this plugin installer. It contains over 90 plugins, as it says. So let's click on the lame mp3.zip again. I um, guess it's not letting me because I have this prompt. So let's just run the Audacity installer. And open up the lame mp3 right here. Just copy that to your desktop. Close out of that. And now we can uh, finish installing Audacity. So next. Also, I like to keep this default. It's a standard 32-bit application. That's why it's at uh, the pro program files times 86. So just press next. And you got to remember this uh, file location so that when we install the um, what do you call it, the plugins right here, we want to make sure that these two file paths are exactly the same. This is the application that we installed or downloaded that contains the 90 plugins. So you want to match these two directories. As you can see, we have C program files, uh, Audacity, C program files, Audacity plugins. So this is actually going to create a folder within this folder. So not to confuse you, here's Audacity. Let's install it. Uh, it already exists. I have it installed. Let's create a desktop icon, install. And as soon as this finishes installing, we're not going to launch it. We're going to install the, the plugins first. So let that do its process. There we go. Do not launch. And now, th now that we have verified that these two directories are exactly the same, with the exception of this folder added, Let's hit next, install. And now within our file path, we have uh, over 90 plugins installed, just like that. And we have one last thing to install. It's going to be our lame encoder.dll. This is going to be the encoder that allows us to export as MP3 f within Audacity. Because for some unknown reason, Audacity only lets you export uh, dot wet, .wav or whatever formats there are. So to install the MP3 export plugin, we go to Audacity, right click, open file location. Let's locate our plugins folder. And let's just drag and drop it into this folder. It already exists because I've already installed it. And the next thing that I want to tell you is the way that you enable that plugin that you just installed, the first time that you run Audacity and try to export as a MP3, it's going to ask you, hey, do you know where the lame uh, dot, uh, encoder.dll is located? You say yes, and you, you locate your C program files, 86, um, Audacity. There we go, Audacity. You go to plugins, and then that uh, lame.dll is going to be within that folder, and it's going to be the only file that shows up. And then from there, you're able to export as MP3. Very annoying, but it's just the way it is. Also, we can notice that now we have over 90 plugins uh, 
at the tip of our fingers, and they're all free. So the next step is setting up our input device. I have a, a shortcut on my desktop, as you can see, also. These two short, uh, things right here are exactly the same, as you can see. Shortcut to our input devices. Also, we can go to playback devices, and it opens up the same exact thing. If you want to create your own, your own shortcut for your desktop, so just type sound. Right click on it and just drag it, let go, create shortcut here. That's exactly how I created this shortcut right here. So now we need to go here and make sure that you have, uh, that you are on the recording tab and you might not have an input for stereo mix. It all depends on your motherboard and your sound drivers and your sound card. So if you don't have a stereo mix, I really don't know what to tell you besides using a different uh, type of software. But I cannot enable this right now because it will cut off my microphone, but you guys want to enable this. This is going to record anything that plays through your speakers. So assume that I right-clicked and enabled this. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to load up Audacity. And see this microphone icon right here? This says that over here is going to be our input device. We are going to select the, the same input device from that drop list that displays right here that we enabled. It's going to be the stereo mix. It's going to say stereo mix. And right off the bat, all we have to do is just hit record. As you can see, it's picking up my voice right now. But that's because I'm recording with my mic. And we can, you know, just find a soundboard online or whatever sound clip that you're trying to capture. And just as long as you have it recording at Audacity, all you have to do is press play. Why don't you go tell your mom to shut up? Do you already know what you're going to say? And the one thing that I, that I can't stress anymore is the fact that you need to make sure that anything else is not playing in the background. Suppose you had music playing, or you had uh, Steam notifications, or uh, anything that would make sound is actually going to be outputted with whatever you're trying to record. So make sure that everything is going to be silent before you start recording. And let's make sure that this is working properly. Let's go back, and I'm going to shut up for a second. Are you still going to give your speech tomorrow? And it's not recording for me because obviously I have the stereo mix disabled. And I'm going to shut up for a second. Are you still going to give your speech tomorrow? Hey, welcome back. Uh, so now that we have this uh, recorded, now we can uh, apply effect to it. I'm just going to add a reverb effect to it. And just studio reverb. Now let's see what it sounds like now. Are you still going to give your speech tomorrow? So that is very cool. Um, as you can see, we uh, I don't want to say ripped, but that's exactly what we did. We uh, took this sound file from this soundboard. But also, this tutorial assumes that, you know, suppose you needed to uh, get something that you've created, but, you know, you can't retrieve it anymore. And basically, that's it. I showed you how to download, install, and add plugins, and record uh, sound from different uh, sources. All right, thank you.